Bahrain. Well, let's get more on this now. I'm joined by Isam Ikamari from BBC Arabic. Uh, Isam, I understand that uh, the Yemeni authorities have had more to say about this. Yes, uh, the Yemenis, the uh, Ministry of Defense on their uh, website, uh, initially they spoke about a rescue operation, saying that the Yemeni forces had taken part in that, before uh, later on going on to say that uh, the American uh, journalist was, uh, was dead. Uh, Apparently, what happened over the last few days that there had been a warning by uh, Al Qaeda. Someone called Nasser bin Ali Al Unsi had warned the Americans from uh, trying another rescue operation. Uh, there was uh, apparently a failed rescue operation uh, last month by the Americans. So uh, he'd warned that um, if there was going to be anyone, he warned of the uh, uh, repercussions. And also, he uh, revealed that the Americans know what the, our demands are without revealing uh, these what, what these demi uh, demands uh, might be. So, I mean, this is what we have been able to gather today. Tell us briefly a bit more about the Al-Qaeda operation in this part of the world. As we heard in Frank's report, it is an ideology. Uh, they do vary who's in command and what they want. And, and, and is this common, the, these barbaric murders, as President Obama put it? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, Al-Qaeda has been operating in the Yemen for a few years now, uh, largely since they were kicked out of Saudi Arabia or chased out of Saudi Arabia. They went to the Yemen. They took advantage of the fact that the central government in, in Yemen is is, uh, is very weak and is, it hasn't got much authority outside the capital. Uh, they have been able to uh, rely on, on, on uh, some uh, alliance or some support from some of the tribes in, in, in that area. And they have uh, sort of dug in and they've been operating in, in that area for a long period of time. Recently, with the focus shifting to uh, ISIS in Syria and Iraq, uh, Al-Qaeda has had, had looked like it had taken a back seat. It was not in the news anymore. People were talking about ISIS. Uh, this kind of operation, I think, brings Al-Qaeda back to the spotlight. You're saying that that's what they want. They, they, they're seeing Islamic states getting all the, the headlines. Uh, so, so in some ways, they, they've, they've kind of raised to their murderous, horrific level. Possibly, because they're vying for recruits uh, like, the, like ISIS. They're competing for the same kind of landscape. Competition between terrorists. Absolutely. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, many thanks uh, for updating us. Thank you.